Well, just this week, Nike decided to pull quite a stunt endorsing Colin Kaepernick to be their face using the slogan, believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. Excuse me? What exactly did Kaepernick sacrifice? Another losing season for the 49ers? In 2016, the last season he actually saw the field, he was ranked between the 18th and 19th worst quarterback in the league, throwing for a 59.2 completion percentage. And now he's suing the NFL, accusing them for colluding not to hire him? Well, no, Colin, you just aren't good at football. You went 2-14 and 14 your last season with the 49ers. So since football wasn't working out too well for him, he decided to go the social justice warrior route by disrespecting the flag. He couldn't make top 10 on ESPN for his plays, so what's the next best step up into stardom? Oh, let's disrespect every single veteran by kneeling for the national anthem. You know, it's no secret that the NFL has suffered a major loss after Colin pulled his sitting for the anthem stunt. They're having trouble filling seats after last season's ratings dropped 10%. So I'm just wondering why exactly Nike thought that it would be a good idea to bring on Kaepernick as their face. Did they not so much as take a glance at what he did to the NFL approval ratings? Nike has already lost over $4 billion since that announcement. I'm just wondering if their marketing chair still has a job. So since Nike has sided with Kaepernick, let's take a look at what they now stand for. Let's not forget Colin proudly wearing a Fidel Castro t-shirt in the face of many Castro victims while he was in Miami, Florida. So if he's a proud supporter of Castro, what exactly does that support? Well, mass murder for one thing. You know, it's funny that he supports Castro, a known dictator, yet he's thriving in a capitalistic society. Had Colin pulled the sitting for the anthem stunt under a dictatorship, his ass would be in jail or worse. He certainly would not be the face of a billion dollar company right now. Oh, and remember those cute little socks he wore with pigs and police hats on them? That's right, he also advocates police brutality, as do you, Nike. Hey, don't want to piss off half the country and lose billions of dollars? How about use a real hero if you're going to use such a powerful slogan? Pat Tillman, who left his career in the NFL to fight for our country after the attack of 9-11, is someone who really sacrificed everything. He lost his life defending our country so that spineless little boys like Colin Kaepernick would have the right to kneel for the anthem. And just so we're clear, using the excuse that it's his First Amendment right to do so is in fact correct. However, you would think that if he's going to exercise his First Amendment right, he'd at least have the decency to stand up and pay respect to the men and women that have died to give him that right. So no, Nike, Colin Kaepernick hasn't sacrificed a single thing. His inability to stand for the national anthem has done nothing but put money in his pocket. But hey, I'm sure Adidas and Under Armour truly thank you for your new ad, Nike. With Big League Politics, I'm Sunny Joy Nelson.